All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Lassar, also known as Mike, back in Magic the Gathering. Uh, Icoria Lair of Behemoth has just been released, and I'm going to do some drafting and stuff, see what we can get here. All right. Uh, we have a ticket entry. Let's do a traditional draft, because uh, these are new. These are the best of three ones, but they changed it to... Uh, what is it? They changed it from uh, five wins, two losses, or just, you know, out of three, just what you can do. Let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. I already got Ghidorah. Claim the prize. And I guess now we got to wait. All right. There we go. First time doing a player draft. This is going to be fun. Okay. So... Let's see. I have paid somewhat attention to uh, Ikaria and stuff, but let's see what we got here. Flyer, we got that. Further into the battlefield, trap hook or menace. Gains double strike until end of turn. Attacks other humans. Okay. I mean, Yazla seems pretty good. It's rare. <laughs> so I can go ahead and do that. And I already got two packs. I have no idea which one to pick. Uh, I will do the easy thing and pick the Ozolith. Uh, all right, so they took a rare, so that doesn't really help. Uh, let's see, we've got a colorless here. That's true, I still haven't committed to a color. Uh, I guess plus one, plus three, and a reach counter. Boot Nipper enters the battlefield with Death Touch or Life Link. Uh, I got this flash, bounce, ooh, wolfy. When it attacks, I can change the base power and toughness of target human to, oh, basically 4-4. Four, four. Got crystal there. I already got two. I got two again. God damn it. Why are you picking so quick? Yes, control a creature with menace. It has double strike. I have no idea what to pick. I mean, bounce seems good, so I'm going to go with the shark all right if non-combat damage will be dealt to storm wild capper door prevent that damage put a counter for each damage uh let's see parcel beast look at the top card of my library if it's a land i can put it on the battlefield if i don't i draw it choice of flying or first strike whenever i cycle i tap something till end of turn target creature becomes a blue symbol base power and toughness before four so plus one plus one counter and lifelink and i'm gonna have any color spend this only to cast a creature spell wilt hmm, let's see a flyer is good so i guess i'll go with that Avian Oddity is a blue flyer. Put a flying counter on target creature you control. Okay. Regal Leosaur. Whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Not bad. Oh, I got another wolf bear. Garrison Cat, when it dies, make us human soldier. Light of Hope. Plus two, plus zero, and indestructible. Unlikely aid. Oh, that's a more of the spark reprint. Whenever this attacks another target character, it can't be blocked. Oh, man, I'm at three packs. I think I will take the bird. And again, I can click just to see how this is going. Eh? The person to my right is going real fast. Uh, fight is one, plus one, plus one, and indestructible to human and non-human. Put a menace counter on non-human. Put it parcelon. All right, so this is a menace build around. Tapper, Sedge Scorpion, Emery Leak, Vulpakeet. Another flyer. Am I just going to get a bunch of flyers? I could do that. I think I want a flyer. Let's grab the flyer. Let's do that. Valiant Rescuer. Whenever you cycle another car for the first time each turn, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Flash spells with flash, you co cost one less. All right, I do have one of those. I do have the shark. 
There's another flyer. When it's a battle target human you control gets plus two plus two. Patagia Tiger. Gloom Pangolin. Uh, I'm going to take the Cunning Knight Bonder. Flash and spells with flash cost one less and can't be countered. All right. Let's see. Divine Arrow. Pacifism. Not bad. Uh, when it enters the battlefield with either flying or hexproof counter. Deadweight. Lurking Deadeye. When it enters, destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn. Evolving Wilds. Ram through this and that. No. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab Pacifism, honestly. Seems like a safe pick. What does the Ozolith do again? Whenever a creature I control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. At the beginning of combat, if Ozolith has counters on it, I can move all counters from Ozolith onto target creature. All right, we got removal. Exile, target creature power four greater. Day Squad Marshal, when it enters, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier token. Crustacean, which has flash, it's a 1-6. Two mana, flying, 1-3. Put the top three cards of your library, then you may turn a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I think I'm just going to take Blade Banish. All right, now who's holding us up? Ha-ha, it is no longer me. Okay. Suffocating fumes. Creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus one. No. All right. Well, in my colors, we have a 4-4 four, four across two bodies for four. Okay. When it attacks other humans, I control get plus one, plus zero. Or another flyer for two mana. I should take the flyer. Safe picks. Safe picks. Pyroceratops. That sounds dope. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. And it has Trample. Okay, so this has, let's see. Has Double Strike as long as there are three more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard. Also, which is pack 10? Uh, three last if it counts. Yeah, okay. Steal. Steal again. I'm going to take this one because it has Flash. <laughs> and it's colorless, so it fits. Oh, I ran out of time. I don't even notice. Whoops. Target creature this, uh, flying or first strike. Yeah. All right. Helica glider fits. Oh, there's less time. Garrison cat fits my colors. Uh, I will take. I would prefer the garrison cat. Honestly. I'll take the flyer. And the forest. Cool. Pack two, pick one. Ooh, Cogla. Oh, man. If I grab this, there's no way. I can't play any of these. So uh, I'm going to have to pass on that. Spike Dragon, Flying Haste, Non-Creature, Void Beckoner. This is a cool card. I like the art. Uh, okay. Swift Water Eclipse. There's not much. This spell costs two less guys if you control a creature with flying. Bounce an online permanent draw card. This was made for me. These boots were made for walking. That's just what they'll do. How about a counter? I like those. Uh, creatures your opponent's control get minus two, minus zero until end of turn, or cycle for two. Got a falling wild. Spontaneous flight. That fits. Uh, main serval, the one for vigilance. Will of the all hunter. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If it's blocking, instead put two plus one, plus one counters on it. Whenever you cycle another turn, no, I think I'm going to go with the spontaneous flight. Just keep building on that flight. Yeah. All right. So whenever you cycle another card, no, I don't have that. Avian Oddity. That one again. Ooh, Cunning Night Bonder. Can I grab that? The other thing about Cunning Night Bonder is it, it is double Demir Hybrid. So if for some reason I get past some black mana bomb. No. All right. In terms of creatures, it's uh, I got to get some lower cost stuff. I'm going to start padding. All right. We got some blue fly flies and a 3-1 for 2. When it, enter, it enters the battlefield with my choice of a flying or hexproof counter. Oh, this is a big boy. I think I may grab that one. Charge of the Forever Beast. Where do I get grab Phase Dolphin? Phase Dolphin's good. I think I'm going to grab the Terran. 
Terran Terran the Wingfold Terran. The pterodactyl thing. Ooh. Whenever I cycle a card, I can pay one to exile, target artifact or creature control, and then return to the battlefield under its owner's control. All right. Not it, because I'm not cycling. Uh, I can, let's see, two mana, draw a card, and then tap, sack it. All right. To freeze. Tap two, and they don't freeze. Or I can cycle it for one. I think I'd rather take the sleepy dart than this. I really don't know. I'm going to take the sleepy dart. Go ahead and grab that. I need some more stuff here. <laughs> some more early creatures. Uh, when Wingspan Mentor enters the battlefield, put a flying counter on target non-human creature you control. And then two tap, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with flying. Yes, please. Whenever you cycle another card, gain a life. Uh, all right, another nightmare squir squirrel. You're the crustacean. Yep. Let me just take the glider. Nightmare squirrel fits in. I guess I got four here, three here. I got two, three, four. I want some more two cost stuff. Whoa. This is an is it deck. All right, well, that guy's not doing that. Uh, let's see, Channel of Force. These are some good cards. Oh, that's some cool. That's some cool art. Whenever this creature mutates, return target instant social card from your graveyard to your hand. Dope. I'm probably going to grab... Do I want the coordinated charge or the mysterious egg? I'm going to grab the mysterious egg. I have stuff that mutates, right? I have some mutate. Please tell me I have mutate. All right, I got one mutate. <laughs> Two with a shark. Oh, I do not have much mutate. We'll see if that phase is on. All right, phase elephant. That's a easy get. White, blue, man. So odd. If I press home, what happens? Okay, we got a uh, cycle, another car first turn. Actually, yeah, how much cycle do I have also? One. Yeah, I don't have. I have one, so not it. Uh, hampering Snare, probably, or should I grab the Vigilance one? You know what? I want a two-cost creature here. Grab another Pacifism, because it's the only one that fits. Another Phase Dolphin. Okay, how did this happen? A Glimmer Bell. Uh, hold on, this is the second one. This is all right. Glimmer Bell, easy pick there. I will grab this, because why not? Sure. Back three, pick one. All right. So I got a Helica Glider, Capture Spear, one tap, draw a card, discard a card, or of one mind. If I control a human and a non human, how many humans do I actually have? A human wizard. I have a lot more non humans than humans. So I don't know about one, of one mind. I think Capture Spear is the safer option here. Ooh, Song of Creation. Am I going to Rare Draft? I mean, if there's nothing good in here, might as well. Swallow Hole. As additional cost, tap an untapped creature. Exile target tap creature. Put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature. Tap to pay this cost. That one's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, zero 5 for 1. Deals three damage. Oh, that's Flash. If that wheels, I will grab it. Um, I think Swallow Hole is good. It's removal. Counter target spell unless its controller play pays four. Essence scatter. Counter target spell it targets a permit you control and draw a card. Nice. Uh, we got a imposing Vantasaur. Three six vigilance recycling. Honestly, I'm gonna take the essence scatter. I think there's a lot of creatures in this set. So, and there's a lot of mutating stuff that's going to happen. So I think Essence Scatter, especially with that beautiful Seb McKinnon art, Montreal native. Ooh, Luris. I can actually play Luris because it's hybrid. In other words, I got Dranith Healer, cycle a card. No. You're just a 2-2 two, two for 2 that I, or I cycle. Let's see, 1 mana, zero five. 5 No. Huh. I'm going to take Luris. <laughs> 
definitely will not get there with the two mana stuff to use him as a companion. But Okay, do I want another cunning night bonder or do I want to get a checkpoint officer? Because tappers be good. What's this? Menace, each creature you control with menace can't be blocked up by three. Ooh, super menace. I kind of want to just grab the cunning night bonder, but I don't think I'll play any more than two. Uh, I'm going to take the tapper because that's a semi form of removal. Snare tactician. Whenever I cycle, no. Grab another essence scatter. I think I'm just going to grab essence scatter. Safe ish pick. Whoa. That's some cool art. Momentum Rumbler. If it doesn't have first strike, put a first strike counter on it. And if it does, it gains double strike. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right. So I got uh, Spontaneous Flight or Checkpoint Officer. I can grab. I'm going to grab another Checkpoint Officer. <laughs> uh, okay. And another Checkpoint Officer just showed up or a Snare Tactician. I don't really have much cycling, so it's going to be that. All right, this is my first pack of one mind came back around. I'm going to grab that to get some card draw. Spring jaw trap still there and it has flash so that works. I can see the outside through my window, but I rarely go out. Uh last time I did, I got no, uh, what's this? Counter target spell target permit you control and draw a card. Yeah, uh, keep safe, seems safe. Last time I went out, I went out for a run. Uh I haven't done that in years. And my knees are still hurting. That was four days ago. Uh, the day after I ran, my ankles were killing me. <laughs> so definitely not running ever again. I mean, I will not be playing any of these, but let's see. Which one do I like most? Yes, that one. You are correct. <laughs> oh, I got a decent curve. I got some one drops and two. All right. Oh, there's one card. This one co coordinated. Strike, Snare Tactician, yeah, I'll take you. Although I'm pretty sure I won't be playing you. So I got some one drops, a lot of two, three, four. All right, nice curve, nice curve. Cool, cool. Yeah, planes. And now we got to build the deck. All right, so let's see. Garrison Cat, Mysterious Egg. Mysterious Egg is a no because I don't have enough. Uh, your removal, your removal. Ozolith, I have a lot of counter stuff. So you're good. I might take out Garrison Cat. Probably will. I'm going to take out Garrison Cat. Uh, checkpoint Officer for tapping. Yep. Semi removal. 1 4. I got Blocker. Uh, 3 1. Nah. Flyer. Flash. Pacifism. Essence Scatter. 2 mana. Draw a card. And then I can tap Sack it to make something tap. I think Keep Safe is meh. Sleep for Dart. Maybe also meh. And there's card draw there, which I do like. Let's see. Helica Glider. Flying or first strike counter. Three mana, one three flying that if non combat damage. Meh. We'll see. I mean, this is going to be getting some stuff through, so I think so. This works real well with all the flyers. I may just cut Luris. I will probably cut Luris. I'm going to cut Luris. Uh, your flyer that can mutate, flying, removal, removal, fly stuff, flash, flash, flash. Hmm. It might be good to just cut all the stuff that has flash, honestly, except for the shark. Uh, where is it? Did I already take it out? Not spring jaw. There. Four tap, three damage on any target. Nah. All right, got to cut another seven cards. What's my curve? Three average. Two, 11, eight, five, three, one. Ooh, I like that. I like that. That's a nice minus three, minus three, minus two, minus two. That's good. That's good. Mmm. Then again, Ozolith and Adaptive Shimmer work well. I don't think, hold on. Main Serval, 1-4 with Vigilance. Seems okay. Uh, you know what? I am going to remove Sleeper Dart. 
Helica Squirrel, Storm Glide, Freeze Dolphin, Wingspan of One Mind. Again, how many humans do I have? And I believe I have like one. Human Wizard. Yeah, I have one. Oh, no, I got four. It's true. I got that one too. I got the Checkpoint Officer. Okay. Maybe. One mana, draw two cards. Pretty good. One mana, draw two cards. Pretty good. Gosh, I hate this. Uh, Blade Banish. The only card with a Wanderer on it. I think they're going to start doing this in every set. Just like one card. Like, Wanderer. Every, every once in a while. Bah, bah, bah. And then eventually it's like, haha, she's back. Either that or this is just like saying like, oh, she'll be here in the next set. Who knows? I just really, Avian Oddity is just a face with a bunch of wings. That's horrifying. Okay. What do I want? Oh, yeah, and this is the two mana bounce and draw card because I have a bunch of creatures with flying. Uh, you know, I'm going to take out Coordinated Charge. Did I have two of those? No, okay. Wing Terran as a flying or a hex proof. It's a three six. I think that 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 gets flying way more often than it does hex proof. I want to keep the Ozolith because I do have a lot of plus one plus one counters and all the other and a lot of other counters too. So I have pacifism, essence scatter, capture sphere, blade banish. Hmm. Like, then again, that's true. This is best of three. So I feel like if they have like big mutate creatures, I can just side in essence scatter. Hmm. Also, how's my? Let's see. I'm still about even. Of course, I am. Really not sure. Really not sure. You know what? I think so. Zest Scatter requires me to like hold up mana, whereas Vera can be you know, like, oh, maybe this, that, and the other. Whereas if I remove it, I'm like, all right, every turn, just play, 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 play. Which is usually what you want to be doing. Creature, Blade Banish, Capture Sphere. Is it tap? It doesn't untap. That's right. Oh, and it has Flash. It's true. Let's see. What did I take out? I've, that's right. I, I took you out. I took out Spring Jaw Trap. What has Flash? Did I... so I'm, li I'm really looking at this main servo. I'm like, meh. I think I'm going to take that out. Put in a Cunning Night Bonder. Maybe. I do want to have a critical mass of creatures around two, three. Okay, let's split up the creatures and non-creatures. Uh, Blade Banish, Capture Sphere, Ozolith, Swallow Hole. All right, so that's it. All right, so these markers, oh, Pacifism, there we go. Okay. We got six, six, two, two, one. Not bad. Not bad. I think I got three cards. I think the Swallow Holes removal, Ozolith worked well, Pacifism is removal, Spontaneous Flight, I think in general, is a no. But because I have a bunch of stuff with, if you have flying, and a bunch of stuff like with counters, I think that stays in. I'm flying. So do I really need the Phase Dolphin? You know what? I'm going to take out the Phase Dolphins. There we go. I think Luris can be... It's is good. Just three, two... Lifelink that lets me recur uh, these six two mana creatures. Lets me recur Ozolith, if anything. Pacifism. Each permanent. No, I do not want to set it as my companion. I just want it in the deck. Because I think it is a good card. Uh, I'm going to cut Wingfold Terran at the top there. I think as a flyer, it's okay. As a hexproof, I think. See, a 3-6 with Hexproof is a good defender. It's a good blocker. A 3-6 with Flying is meh. Like, easily stopped. Like, even this, like, a 2-4 will stop it, you know? Or this 3-4. So I think that's 
removed. I got 41. I can cut a land. Because we all know I love doing that. Which will probably be... Yes. Let's just cut a land. Because that is the easiest thing to do. All right. Done. Uh, let's see. So I have... If I really need some damage, I have that. Uh, her human. Oh, here we go. When it enters the battlefield, target human gets plus two, plus two. You don't do anything. Oh, you don't do much. No, you do. All right, never mind. That's fine. Let's see. I can do this if I need to really just like have a punch through this to stop. To stop like big creatures, I got this if I really need protection. If they are they have a lot of flowers, I put in phase dolphin. I need some kind of big defender, wingfold Terran. I can put on another flash if I really need. Yeah, okay. All right. This is good. And I see like the sideboard, how that's going to work. So let's play. Someone made a 60, a 54 card deck. Okay, sure. I will play first. This is actually okay because I can play all of these no matter the mana I draw. I can drop a checkpoint officer early and then just like, no, no, you don't get to attack. You don't get to attack. It's like a continued pacifism. Oh, look at that. And that kills my checkpoint officer. All right. Don't want to give away that I am also playing blue. So let's just do that. And this is when Maurice drops. Oh, nope. Ooh, we got different ones. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's two mana. That's pretty good for two mana. So. Pacifism would rock on this because that's one four is a good blocker. Especially if it has Vigilance, it can just free attack or whatever. Okay, so I play my 2-2 flying. Or I do this to give you flying. I will give you a flying counter. I'm not going to attack because that would be useless. No. Got a nice little list here so I can refer. Like, ooh, what can I look... Ah, you're doing Orzhov, or Orzov. I don't know why people pronounce it. Well, by people, why? No, my poor squirrel, my poor squirrel. Yeah, this is. Think about this: is it's four mana. Like it's an easy one drop. I don't like this at all. There's that two mana. Da, da, da. I do have a second one. Nah. Oh. It was a ruse. I will drop it. This. I'm going to do this. And then I'm up. Pass the turn. There we go. A little bit of lag there. will admit that I have to go to the bathroom. And so this may not have been such a good idea to start the match. Boot in parents the bathroom with a choice of death touch or lifelink counter. Oh, wow. Man, the land, very fitting, very emanating. Oh, there's some cool butterflies there. You got crystals growing everywhere because that's their source of energy. This is a big thing, dead in that swamp. Just tap you down. Oh boy, oh boy. Target you with that. And do this. Do I want to pacifism this or do I just want to... Let's hit you for three. Bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. Not gonna lie, I hope this ends real quick. This is a terrible gloom pangolin. It looks 
It looks so cool. Nightmare pangolin. Uh, I'll just do this. Go ahead. Hit me for one. All right. That was a string. Okay. Go even with mana. I'm already drawing too many lands. I have not missed a land drop, and I already feel like I'm drawing too many lands. All right. So. I can just keep those two up. I can pacifism. I feel like there's something big coming, though. And I want to save pacifism for that. Oh, that looks wrong. The swamps. Now, because <laughs> there are different swamps. How'd you get different swamps? Oh, he must have drafted one of them. Probably drafted this one, and then this was automatic. Oh, that's... Are the crystals moving? This plane's car just reminds me of... Oh, no, he's gonna... No! Nah. All right, well, I guess I'll do this. The plane's reminds me of uh, Lion King. What about the dark part over there, Father? You must never go there, Simba. There's no place I'd rather be than on the seashores out at sea. You got my little stitch over there. He's watching me uh, lose. Damn it. This would have cost two mana. <laughs> All right. Well, I searched for this. Wait, which one is the most costly? It is definitely this one. Oh, baby. Do I want to play it, though? Damn it. If, he, if I had the other one, this would have been two mana. Two mana. <laughs> Otherwise, I just tap that down. Yeah, no. Let's just let's do that. Play something big that I can freaking pacifism. Lingering in the ocean blue. Man, I'm gonna side in my own main crackle, serval, whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. Okay, I have seven mana, which means that I can do this. I can pacifism. I can tap down. Oh, my God. At this rate, I might as well just do that. Oh, well, Capture Sphere does have flash. Yes. Yes, it does. Pass the turn. This is terrible. All we have is just, like, low power, high toughness. Well higher toughness creatures that we're getting nowhere maurice oh you're playing this one too target human you control gets plus two plus two well there's the pacifism target so tap enchanted creature enchanted creatures untap yeah let's just do this Hopefully you don't have a white removal for enchantment to. I'm just going to block. Yes. I did it. Here's the pacifism. You have a useless flyer now. Ha ha ha. I can tap down the main serval and then attack for one. Hmm? Hmm? This is when he plays green and then just goes, Nethroy! <laughs> or red, snap tax. That's it. No, wait, blue. No, blue is Esper. That's a shard, not a, a wedge. Come on. Enchanted creature plus one as long as it, it has been. It has been. Oh, man. This is a, this, that turns that into a 5-5. Five, five. Just tap stuff down. This sucks. Holy cow. Oh, it has flash. That would have been great in this deck. 
Uh, although I wouldn't be able to decrease. Uh, Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. You know, as long as it has vigilance, it assigns combat that is equal to its toughness rather than its power. That, that is a great mix because this is a five, five. Wow. Okay, well, definitely flying so I can start punching through and then we're going to end the turn. And now I have my two tap, my two tappy boys. After what he viewed as Luca's shocking betrayal, General Kudrow enacted stringent security measures at every entry point into Dranith. It could subsist on seeds, but its preferred fare is your face. Love reading the flavor text. Love it. It's hilarious. What does this do? When this creature mutates, return to our creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to your battlefield. Whoa, that's awesome. I'm just going to tap that down. And that one. And that one. And that one. Jeez. I'm like, please don't glitch. I don't want to get hit for five. What do you have in here? Return target creature card with a word of mana cost three or less. Oh, you don't have anything. Why are you mutating it? You should have just played it. Ha, you messed up. Huh? Jason A. Engel. Yeah. No, because then I can only tap two of your things. So you play this, and now, okay, I'm forced to take a damage. Oh, hi, Ozolith. Fairy Yusufil. This is actually useless, what you just did. You should have just played it out, because then I would have been taking a, a damage. Per tornado. Bam. All right. I like that across format. Damn it. I like that across formats. Like, colors seem to be doing the same thing. Although, like, it's one damage and there's going to be three. All right? Like, I've, I've made white, blue, and I just have a control deck, basically. Oh. As additional cost to cast, tap, exile, put a plus one, plus one counter. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. All right. So, target. Oh, a tapped creature. Hold on. Perdoname. While I tap this, because that's going to be my target. That would have been my target anyways. And then I will exile it. And I have to tap. It's going to be this. Because that also... No attackers. That also pumps it. And right now you don't have any flying blockers. So that was a good long-term play. Nice. Just going to go ahead and do this. Because uh, five, five, th this is a 5-5 five, five with Vigilance for three, essentially. Ooh, boy. But a flying counter and target non-human creature you control. All I have is humans. Do I want to save it? Or do I want to just play it out? Or do I want to just play it out so that way next turn... For three mana, I can pump my Squirrel. Oh, this would be great if you had First Strike instead. How do I switch that? Hmm. Hmm. Bam, bam, bam. Do I want to? Because otherwise, it's just it's a 1-3. It's not really doing anything right now. I think I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to swing with this. Why is it slow? I search for the stun. So what is this? Search your library for... All right, cool. Oh, two mana, just go get a thing? Dope. And just, you know. The usual. Is that it? You done there? Yeah? 
I do control a human and a non-human. I will pay it one blue mana to draw two cards. Thank you. Excellent. And there's my there's my boy. So I play Lurus. Now, is you can activate Whisper Squad. That's what the thing is. And I can cast a permanent spell, convert a mana cost. Hello. Okay, so I have three. I can do this, give Lurus a flying counter. I can play the checkpoint officer to have more ways to tap. Although this does block certain things. I will have two mana to tap something. To tap this, specifically. Because I don't want to be taking five. So, we're going to go ahead and play the Wingspan Mentor. So he can teach Luris how to fly. Because he, or she. They. Let's go with they. That's the safe one. And now we're going to go to combat. So now I got... Two, three power flyers. One is lifelink. This is excellent. Look at damage. This is basically turn two o'clock. Can you please just let let it happen? Just let it let it happen. Just it's okay. Just, all right. Next turn I can tap you for tutor. So oh, I'd be hitting for eight if I get some way to power up my attackers. I will win the next round. Oh, yeah, like that, but I already used it. <laughs> does that pop up? It does. Cool. What do I have that can make me win next turn? I use that. No. Hurry up. Gosh. Vulpakeet. No. Blade Vanish. No. Avian Oddity. When I cycle, put a flying counter, target creature control. No. When this creature mutates, you gain four life. Ah, oh, dangers. And then also that, but useless. I assume you're going to put it on top so that way you can get a 4-4. Four, four. There it is. Oh, when it goes on top or on bottom, the crystal's depending. I get it. I get it. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I will take the four damage. Because I get three next turn. Actually, I get four next turn. Whenever this creature mutates, Patagia, target human you control gets plus two. Nope. There's nothing now that can let me win next turn. Go. Oh, all right. Uh oh, Spaghettio. You might want to pull that back. I mean, yeah. Actually, let me gain some life right now. And I will take the four, because I don't care. Considering I also gain three life. Ta-da. Glimmer Bell. Okay, so I'm going to do this. No, because I need the two whites. Oh, because you mistapped. No, because I didn't see it. All right, so I should have played this first and then that. Oopsie. But I still get to attack for eight. This is a sweet deck. Flyers control, baby. And I'm going to tap down those two. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. I have to go so bad. Go ahead with that. I mean, if that's what you're playing, then I win next turn. Just that. Go to combat. Two. This could have been three damage. Woo! 
I won the first round. Glad I put Lurus in. Life gain is great. I'm going to be back. All right. Okay. So, what are we going to put in? Uh, I'm going to take out Cunning Knight Bonder and put in Essence Scatter. Uh, I'm going to. I also want to put in. Honestly, I keep safe. <laughs> I think there's going to be more stuff there that wants to take out my creatures, especially the checkpoint. So, I want to keep safe. Uh, done. Oh, I did 41. <laughs> Whoops. Maurice. Maurice. If you're so inclined. I look so funny with my moustache. And my little pinch. My name is Inigo Montaya. And to kill my father. Prepare to die. Keep it. Apparently, apparently there are four lands left in my deck. So this didn't reset. That's great. Oh, you play the garrison cat? <laughs> the baguette. Well. I feel like part of the retinue is to keep like some removal to deal with this. But I do have Luris, so my big cat boy. I just made one too. I was like, I wanted to make a Luris deck, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna see how it goes. So I spent a wild card, and then first draft, and I get one. I'm like, okay, all right. So you're a two two now, which means that I'm gonna do this so I can stop you. Ha ha! Foiled. Friend sent me a message. I thought it was a bot. It was not a bot. I can't believe. Oh, my God. You didn't attack. That means you don't have pump spells. What? This is great. This is great. Okay. Now, flying counter target non-human. Right? So. Or I can just draw two cards. But if I play this. All right. If I play this, I don't get the counter. If I play this. Actually, wait. What am I doing? Of course, I'm going to do this. And then of one mind is going to cost one mana. Trying to math it out. I don't know what to do. When it was staring me in the face. Right, Stitch? Right? Like, come on. How? How? I'm so silly. For some reason, I keep forgetting that this is a human. I mean, it's a 4-4, four, four, so this doesn't really help. Okay, well, you gain 4 life because it mutates. Yeah, I like the crystals go on the bottom if it, you put it under. Oh, you silly, silly boy. Why did you put it under instead of on top? Because now you're just hitting me for 2. Instead of 4. Remember, reading the card explains the card. Okay, so. Now, for four mana, I can I, I would have if this was a 4-4, four, four, but it's not, so this is useless. Uh, fly, see, the issue with Wingspan Mentor is putting flying counters on something is that almost all my non-creature spells have flying. Well, I could put... All right. See, but I do want to use it. Uh, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, here's what, what's going to happen, actually. And this is perfect. I'm going to put first strike. I'm going to swing with this. Because you did just gain four life. And now, this is for my glider here has first strike. So, if you attack, I can block, kill it. Assuming you don't have a pump spell. But, I will likely not do that. Grim Dance. Oh, awful. Oh, that is a nightmare spider thing. Enters the battlefield of your choice of two counters. So Menace, Death Touch, Lifelink. 
So it has Death Touch and Life Link. I would have given it Death Touch and Life Link because I do have multiple creatures. Okay. So did you draw? Did you draw a pump spell? This is the question I have to ask myself now. Because if you did, then this is going to die, and I don't want it to die. So I'm just going to. You did it. All right. Cool. 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 So now I can wingspan mentor to give this flying and punch through for three. I can pacifism and keep up essence scatter, which is probably not a good, probably not a bad play. To combat. Damn, I wish I had blocked. Oh, I wish I had blocked. I honestly thought like this is what what they drew. Hmm. Yeah, my checkpoint officer is not doing much this turn. This time, because uh, I have the one uh, the one planes there. I can't. Th this this kind of sucks. This kind of sucks that this didn't update. There you go. Told you that would have been useful. All right, now he's not going to attack. Okay, well. When it dies, make a thing. Yes, that's what's up. That's what's up. Because now I can do this and tap down the human because I... Totally need to, you know? All right. All righty. Go to first strike. Gloom Pangolin, it's back. Go, attack. I dare you. Nice. Oh, look at you. Look at my little cutie boy. My cute nightmare squirrel. Okay. So I have five mana. The optimal play would be to activate you. And then keep up officer. <laughs> What's funny is yesterday <laughs> in my... Commander group chat. We were talking. They were talking about how checkpoint officer. There it is. There it is. It was annoying. Good thing I have the capture sphere. Pass to the attack. The attacks are blocking, and then I'm tapping. Do 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 I kind of, I honestly kind of want to do capture sphere on it. All right, so I can do the same thing: pump and then uh, tap. Draw step. Hold on. How do I? I can play the glimmer bell and the helical glider, or this. Or I can capture sphere. You know what? You know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. Start off. Because that would be done anyways. What is that? Oh, it's you. It's the... Br I keep hearing like a slot machine going. I'm like, what is happening? Okay. So now... Because his... his like a tapped heart creature. His best thing would honestly either tap this to get through or just keep it up. Which at that point, I just tap it. End the turn. 
He doesn't have removal. That's it. That's it. I win. Or a blocker, yes, of course. Uh, okay, but... No, I need to tap this. I'm going to tap that down. You have two mana to tap something, but everything's already tapped and thus is useless. So feel free to lose the game. Because, guess what? It's not very powerful or greater. What? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I do have, however, have this. I also have this. Les attaques. That is how we win with the flying and the control. <laughs> All right. One win. That gets me. One. Po Why is there no difference between zero wins and one win? Like, it goes zero. Was it one, two, three? What? What? Why? Like, if you go one pack, one pack, four pack, six. Why is it not one, two, four, six? Why? It's so annoying. How's my audio sounding? I hope it's good. I hope I'm not too loud. I see this yellow here. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Two mana and the checkpoint officer. I'm in. You know, it probably also helped that the last person I faced... Mr. Whopperfish, Maris was uh <laughs> was playing fifty four cards for some reason. Please stop lagging. You're scaring me. Oh, that's what is that at the bottom? Those eggs, cocoons, crystals. Well, there we go. What are the chances you have something with haste? Game, please. Transition. There it is. Okay. Whoo. Dinosaur. Oh, do I want to essence scatter? I forgot that I had that. Or do I want to pounce shark? I'm going to pounce, actually. I'm going to mutate. I would like it to become over. Takes the action. And now I have a 4-3 flying shark. Spectacular. If I do say so myself. He also must be like, finally a land. I can play something. And then I just go, nah. What in the world? Porky parrot. Here's another nah. Look how excited my owl is. Like, hell yeah. We win in dark. When in this creature mutates, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Either I put a plus one, plus one counter on my shore shark. Which means I hit for six. Or. No, you know what? Considering everything is happening, I'm going to keep up Zemena. Because if they do get to. Play a creature. What did you just throw away? Ooh, six four first strike. Oh, he gets to nothing. Yeah, okay. Well, that's <laughs> why so I was like, I mean, you have 10, 10, so like either way, I went. I didn't see anything of the deck aside from creature. So again, essence scatter. I'm, I honestly don't know. I think Ozolith. Honestly, Ozolith. What is that slot machine? The Nyx Owl isn't even there. I'm so confused. Anyways, I barely saw the, the deck. I saw... Oh, man. I saw a dinosaur that I bounced, then countered the same one, and then I saw another big creature get... Eh, cycled. So...
Excellent. Absolutely excellent. <laughs> Putting three checkpoint officers in this deck was the best decision I ever made. Yes. I get to play my Vulpakeet. Which is a more just gorgeous art from this set. Like, look at that fox with stripes and a cool tail. And then these pretty wings. And it's like talking to a bumblebee. It's like, what? All right, so I have choices here. I can play Lurus. Block with this and then just bring it back. Uh, that's not going to happen. No. Instead, I'm going to leave that up for, to tap it. I can play Lurus here. You got you got to change right away and also stay. Gosh, so I can play Loris of the Dream Den right away, or oh, and then next turn I can mutate, give it flying and a plus one plus one counter, assuming it's still there. Assuming it's still there. That's being mana efficient. Or I just tap down the Frenzied Raptor. So next turn, I do a Glimmer Bell tap. You know what? I'm going to play. And I will hope that nothing bad happens to my little nightmare cat. Cat nightmare. I feel like it's more a, a nightmare cat than a cat nightmare. But anyways. Please let him live. Or at the very least fight so that way i gain three life oh birch now nah, whatever i'll take the four it's early in the game don't worry about it all right so vulpiki is now useless that being said this is an enchantment essentially that's just like hey if you want to play something from your graveyard go ahead bud all right so glimmer bell that's for certain And now we get checkpoint officer to just keep tap tap tapping away. <laughs> and then in response he stifles. No, doesn't. And so have a choice of trample or menace. A tigerilla. Ow. Okay, so what do we have? I can do this and then tap. I can Vulpakeet onto this. Now, nah. target human gets plus two, plus two until on turn. I can do this, swing with this, but then I'm absolutely going to take a bunch of damage next turn so hmm yeah you know what i'm going to do this give it a flying counter some of my little squirrel and then keep up the two mana to tap down the tigerilla which is horrifying I would never want to meet anything of this sort in my life. Go to combat. All right. Tap this down. So now what's cool is I can block with my Glimmer Bell, and then I can just replay it every turn with Lurus. Yes, are you figuring out? Are you figuring it out? Oh, the other thing is, I, sure, I could have given this first strike. You're, you're, you're red-green. Chances are you have a pump spell or something. <laughs> or I can just do pacifism. That works, too. Ta-da! <clears throat> So now I don't even need to bring back Glimmer Bell. Or 
We're getting there. We're getting there. See, again, I should I should have given this first strike and then more Vulpikid onto it to give it flying first strike, make it a 2-3, and then gets, it becomes a 3-4 flying first strike. Yeah, yeah. That being said, I was planning more for just in case I had five mana. So, now then. I can play something for four mana. I mean, I don't have much mutate. So, if I want to get the counter, I have to do this. I should have given you first strike. Dangers. Why didn't I give you first strike? I did this last game, too. The other thing is I do this. See, everything has... Right. I mean, I could do this, Vulpikid on top. No, at least it's a 3-4. I'm going to... And you know what? I'm just going to capture Sphere this. Please target it. Game, work with me. Tap it, it doesn't untap. And now I attack with the everything. Ha ha. And now I am ahead. That is perfectly fine. That is more than fine. This deck's real good. This guy's real good. <laughs> uh, now do I Vulpikeet? I think I Vulpikeet. I wish I'd given you that, but, um, okay. Mutate. Okay, if I put it on top, yeah, this one. Put it over. So I have a three, four, flying, flying, that can untap. Second win, just like that. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I got overly excited. Screeched a little bit into the mic. Sorry. I will choose to play. <gasps> There's no checkpoint officer. No. This is actually terrible. Actually, this is, yeah, this is actually a terrible keep. Oh, I almost pressed it. There it is. There is my lad. There is my lad. I'm going to send back this. Because Luris requires two whites. To white mana. Checkpoint officer inbound. Checkpoint officer, uh, maybe not single handedly, but has handedly won me the game. Do I want spontaneous flight? I don't think so. This is when he flashes in a creature and I go. <gasps> And I flip. Oh, man. Hold on. That's the shadow from... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was just, I just noticed the... Sh uh, the here. It's backwards. I'm like, what's that shadow? Rizolba. Whenever this attacks. Good thing it won't be attacking. Be because, I, because I have pacifism. <laughs> And then we're just going to poke for another damage. Sunglass emoji. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is this? Huntmaster Liger. Whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of times this creature is mutated. You son of a brick. It did it again. Please. Next. No attacks. Do I want to capture spirit? Or do I want to patag? I mean, okay, until end of search, that's useless. Uh, this also useless, which means capture sphere. See, because what I could have done, what I could have done was patagia tiger. Oh, it's a liger, it's a lion tiger. I could have summoned this, given this plus two plus two. 
Oh, it, it, it's not the one with flying. Oh, look at that. Vulpikit. Interesting. Interesting. Guess what? My my tiger is bigger than yours. Give that pl plus two plus two. Swing. If you block, your creature dies. If you don't, you take three damage. That's how we roll. What's cool about the sunglasses is now no one knows where I'm looking. Aha, the egg. But you have the mutate creators. No blocks on my head. You probably have like this. Ooh, babe. I can make this a 3 4 and swing. Mm -hmm. Mama was a. Mama. Papa was a rolling stone. Sword damage tiger. No! Then, oh, you're an instant at least. So that is a okay. Ugh. It is starting to get cold in my apartment. I was about to tap the egg. I was about to tap the egg. Excellent. Now, the other thing I could have done was given checkpoint officer plus two plus two and flying but meh oh hello dolly this is another way to mess up the i just realized is this the base that's true like the 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 colorless creatures have a different like they have full art. Let's just tap this down again. Pass to les attaques. This is when he swings with the egg, and I go, "Oh no, he's got a big mutate thing." My turn. Oh, the baguette. That's a big get. That is a big get. Yes, indeed. Go next. No attack. This is terrible. This is terrible. This, it's the egg. The egg is stopping me. When is he going to mutate something? Oh, I boom this. I bounce this. He mutates it onto this. I can then exile it. Oof. Big brain plays. Wish I had seen this last turn. Wait, what? Oh. It's when it mutates. Ah, oh, there's the little bugger. First strike. Oh, no. Oop. Oh, okay. Well, in that case. Oh, yes. Essence scattering. Oh, man. I want to, but at the same time, I'm like, if he has something else, then that sucks. That being said, it does leave me with more mana. So I can tap something. I can scatter something else's essence. Wish, again, again I've, I said this earlier, and I will say it again this time for myself. Reading the card explains the card that is my favorite absolute favorite 
phrase in all of magic because it's so true. It's, just, it's true every time. And every time you make a mistake, you're like, oh, dang, why did I do that? Did you read the card? Not exactly. Like if I had actually read the card, I would have seen, oh, oh, oh shoot, it's exile. I'm like, oh, mutate, right. That's dumb. And again, I get this when this has a flying counter on it. Where's the slot machine noise coming from? This is insane now. This is insane. Okay. Swing for dose. At this rate, now the checkpoint officer is going to single-handedly win me the game. I can essence scatter if he summons a creature. Oh, big. Ooh, big brain plays. First strike. But we're going to hold up the mana. We're going to do the slow game. We're going to do this properly. We're not going to be like, yeah, shark, bounce, and then exile, and then, oops. How are you not playing anything? I don't understand. Perfect. Perfect. Essence scatter that birch. Then again, I could have also saved that and used Blade, blade Banish. But <laughs> he's got another egg. Dimatti. Dimatti has another egg. We'll see here. This is how we uh, win the game. Next turn, what am I hitting with? Hitting four. Okay, you've got three mana, so Blade Banish is off the table. But you know what isn't? This. We're going to put you on top because that gets you another toughness. So now we're swinging for Fev. Okay. So next turn, thou loseth. Yes! I'm telling you, this deck is perfect. So no checkpoint officer, but if I put a flying counter on this, this costs two less. I can I have pacifism. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Oh man. Except the way that I'm the angle at which I'm using my mouse is starting to hurt my wrist. Cause I'm an old man with wrist problems, apparently. Glimmerbell. Elemental jellyfish. Brady. Simon Dominic. No, it's Dominic. Okay. So I can Helica Glider. I can Gust of Wind. Gust of Wind Dance. But the proper play is this. I, I want to give it first strike. I want to give it first strike. I got to say. I'm like mashing all attack. And I'm like, uh, of course, of course. But at least. You know what I just realized? This can just attack. When it deals damage to an opponent, draw a card. Interesting. Very interesting. So if I do this. If I do this, I can't do that. Uh, if I do this, I don't have anything else. Yeah, no. Uh, it's going to be spontaneous flute, probably. Well, then again, hold on. The problem with spontaneous flight is then this attacks through and does damage. The 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 squirrel having first strike does beat the otter. So let's see what happens. Oh yes, that is a good pacifism target right there. That's what I'm talking about. Because next turn, I can spontaneous flight and pacifism. So as he thinks this, oh, this is a good combo. The other thing is I do spontaneous flight right now, which means that I can do gust of wind and pacifism. 
my turn. Let's go my turn. Oh, spectacular. Spectacular. Okay, so we're going to do this. Uh, and then I can bounce. Ah, oh, savior of the universe. Uh, they're both three mana. Perfect. And this draws me a card. There is my, there is my good little cat. Yeah, nightmare boy. There's my nightmare cat. Why is it cat nightmare? Like cat nightmare sounds like something, like a type of dream that a cat has. Whereas cat, whereas nightmare cat, sounds like a cat that is nightmarish. You know? Okay, so Luris. The most manifest stuff is Luris and pacifism. Because Lur Luris, actually, yes. I'm going to go Luris. Oh, I forgot about you. Glimmer Bell. Attack with my Squirrel. So now I have Glimmer Bell that stops the Otter. I have a Cat that stops the Dolphin. Also, Phase Dolphin. And then when it attacks, another target creature can't attack. Oof, because it phases through. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. What's the flavor text? You never had to trust your breath to an inhuman creature who could crush you at its whim. And I truly feel sorry for you. Oh, that's true. You're right. Yeah, I should have done pacifism. Right. So, I mean, if I do this, it dies. But you are in white, so there is a chance that you're going to pump something. Nope, you're just going to let it die. Cool. You drawing a card for a creature dying, I will absolutely take that. Also, I just gained three life. So, Look at the top three cards. Oh, anticipate. Ooh. What is happening here? Bonder and Bonded move in unison, intuiting each other's movements. That's like a sea dragon. Okay. So we do this. Pacifism on you. Because I don't want you drawing any more cards. And then I swing with the team. Be my guest. Hopefully you don't have a one mana punch. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. You want to draw a card looking for answers? Make a flying 3-4 blocker. Actually, it would be it would be 3-4, 4-5 four, four, flying that draws you a card. Disallow, which is a different kind of spell. See, he's digging. This is the second one, so I can't really check. I can cycle this. I can cycle this. All right. Uh, and next we go to Les Attaques. That would have been excellent if the card I drew was actually just a, another pump spell. <laughs> so pacifism is whatever. So I think of one mind is actually the better play here. Just so I draw a card, see what I have. Excellent. Essence Skyler is useless without two mana. But good enough. I know the nightmares of Indatha seem scary, but when you break them down to their component parts, they're quite beautiful. Naire, Ketria Elementalist. Oh no! You still need an answer because you need to block three creatures. And guess what? I have a pacifism, so that does not matter to me. Good play, good play. You still need... Uh, nope. So sad. Oh, 
Oh, I had the. Yeah, okay, I had enough damage. First human draft. First. First human draft. Best of three. We go three and zero oh with mask of Emily. Yeah, okay, whatever. So first human draft. Best of three. Three and zero oh with this controlly flyers deck. Done good. I done good. I done good. I made three thousand gems and six packs. That's enough for another two. Is it two? That's enough for another two drafts. Yep, enough for another two drafts. That's it. So, if you do watch this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, so on and so forth, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to know when I stream, when I release a video, be sure to follow me on Twitter at lastor 4 That's L-A-S-O-R and the number four. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.